Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question contains duplicate. Okay, so let me explain with this example, one, two, three, one. So I'll show you three ways to solve this question, but uh, before that, uh, let's think about the uh, brute force way. So in the brute force way, um, first of all, I fix index zero as an inner loop, and then iterate through uh, other number in the inner loop. And then one versus two, they are different, and one versus three, they are different, and one versus one. So we find a duplicate, so we should return true in this case. But the problem is the time complexity of nested loops should be order of n square. So n is a number of element in the input array. So in this case, um, 4 to the power of 2, so that is 16, right? So there is a possibility that um, we iterate through like a 16 time at most. So, but uh, um, Four number is uh, not big deal. So what if we have 100 number? So in that case, um, there is a possibility that uh, we iterate through um, like a 10,000 time at most. So that's why ON square is not good as a algorithm, right? Okay, so from now on, uh, let me explain solution one. I think the uh, easiest way to solve this question is that uh, we use sorting. So in that case, uh, we will get one, one, two, three. And then um, iterate through uh, all numbers, and then we can start from index one. And then check previous number. So if we are zero, one, index two, uh, we check index one. If we are zero, one, two, three, index three, uh, we will check index two. So we can start from index one. And then uh, check previous number, and we have one, right? So that means uh, we can uh, return true in this case. Very easy, right? Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, sort input array, and then let's iterate through one by one for uh, i in range, and then we can start from index one to uh, length of input array, so nums. And then uh, if um, nums i, so current number equal um, previous number, so i, minus one. In that case, we should return true. And if we don't find the duplicate, so just return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n log n, uh, where n is a number of element in the input array. So because uh, we are using sorting algorithm here, so that's why. And the space complexity is, uh, actually it depends on language you use. So in Python, so Sorting algorithm use like a team sort, so a team sort use like a on space, so that's why a space is I think on. Yeah, so let's talk about the solution two. Okay, so second way to solve this question is to use set. So every time we find a new number, uh, check set, and if we have same number, we should return true. If not, just add um, current number to set. So let's begin. First of all, we find one and uh, check set, but uh, set is now empty. So just add one to set. And then move next, we find two and uh, check set, and uh, we have only one in set. So there's no two, so that's why just add um, two to set. And then uh, we find three and check set, and there's no three, right? So that's why. Um, add three to set. And then um, we find the one again, and then check set, we have one here. So that's why we know that uh, one is a duplicate. So in this case, we should return true. Yeah, so let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize set. So let's say num set equals set, and then iterate through one by one for n in nums. Oops. And uh, if n in num set, in the case, uh, we should return true. If not, just add current number to num set. So num set dot add and uh, n. And then if we don't find the duplicate, so just return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n. Um, that's because uh, uh, we iterate through all numbers one by one. I think uh, time complexity is better than solution one. 
And the space complexity is, I think, order of n, because we use set. So uh, there is a case where all numbers are unique. In the case, we put all number into set. OK, so before I talk about the solution 3, so let's do the coding exercise. So what if we change here, like a hash map? So num hash. So in the case, how do we modify the code? So this is a one of the examples. So I use um, for loop. And uh, if n in num hash, so if we have the same key, we should return true. If not the case, so we should add a current number as a key. So nums, num hash, and the key should be um, n. And then equal, so you can put any number as a value. I put one here. I think uh, this works. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And uh, time and the space are same as solution two. I think uh, O and time and O and space because uh, we iterate through all numbers one by one. And uh, in the worst case, all numbers are unique. In the case, we have n number in hash map. So that's why. OK, so let's talk about the solution three. OK, so third solution is very simple. Do you have any idea? So my third solution is uh, using set and uh, check length. So length and uh, set and uh, nums. So in the case, so nums is this input array and uh, we execute set. So that's why uh, length should be, so one is a duplicate, right? So that's why um, uh, length of input array should be three, right? One, two, three. And then, so this number is less than uh, length of um, input array. So nums. So in this case, um, length of input array is four, right? So if this condition is true, uh, we should return true. If not, we should return false. That's because, um, so if we have duplicate, so um, and then we execute set. So in that case, uh, definitely uh, length of input array uh, will be short, right? Because uh, um, we remove a duplicate uh, with set. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. Just return true if length of set input array is less than length of input array. So if we meet this condition, we should return true. If not the case, we should return false. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And uh, time and space, uh, I think, are order of n, where n is a number of element in the input array. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions, such as comment and hitting the like button. I'll see you in the next question.